Hi, welcome everybody. Just wanted to continue with this conversation that I had touched upon yesterday in this um, very short weekly news segment. Um, but hey, things are moving. Things are moving. If you really watch how, you know, the gun control legislation and the fiscal cliff and all these things are coming to to bring... I guess it basically an end to the United States as we knew it. So however that happens, I'm not too concerned right now because no matter what happens, I'm going to be okay. No matter what happens, I'm going to be okay. Um, we want to, you know, take a look at, you know, what people are saying. Because, you know, if, to come right out and say someone is the Antichrist, when they haven't done anything worthy of that, that moniker, that title, again, it's it's almost fear-mongering, it's almost uh, aggrandizement, I don't even know if I use that word right, let me know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, oh look, he's, the, he's this, he's that, you know, and he could just be a man who's, you know, doing what those who put him in power elected him to do. Okay, got him elected to do. And we don't know yet. Because in the end, there's ten kings. Okay, the world needs to have ten kings. Ten toes of the last kingdom. You know, prophesied by Daniel. So, you know. Before we begin, I just pray, Heavenly Father, that you're with us here in this study. And guiding us. And that your spirit moves with us. And help us. To find the courage and the wisdom we need to study your word, Father, as we walk with you in these last days. And we pray in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the Ruach HaKodesh. Amen. These are the last days. You know, they've been the last days since John the Baptist was talking about it. So, you know, who am I to, to say the Lord is slack returning his, regarding his return, okay? I'm going to... Once again, go through Second Thessalonians chapter two, as just a set, as just a template for what what verses we need to to consider on on what this time is about. Not this time right now, but the time of the appearance of Antichrist. Okay. Second Thessalonians two one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto Him. Okay. And listen, Matthew 24, up until verse 29, all these things are going to happen. And then we hear from Yeshua himself, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds winds from one end of the heaven to the other okay so christ does not return until the end of this dispensation of time and space when the sun and the moon no longer have any function okay we see daniel 12 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation and to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting content. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the ferment, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Okay? And look. To be delivered from that time of trouble, okay? It's going to happen, okay? And we were promised to be delivered, to be to be helped, okay? But many will die. Many of the elect will die. And, and, and it's not that it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's going to be the glory for the glory of our Lord and for the salvation of Israel, okay? 
Look at Isaiah 13, 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations of thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay, Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, because the earth is stationary. Okay, And everything is revolving around the earth. And because scientists cannot prove either theory, you could either believe the word of God, or you could believe scientists. Okay, And it shall be as the chaste roe. And the sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, their wives ravished. Woe unto them who are with child, and give suck in those days. Okay? Isaiah 24:21, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in the prison. After many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously. Okay, and these these high ones punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the of the earth upon the earth. These are the fallen angels. These are those who come down. These ten kings plus the other gods, because it would be as in the days of Noah, and they will be eating and drinking and giving and taking in marriage. Okay, Joel. To one, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them. This is that army coming to destroy. Okay, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array before their face, people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. Okay, they shall run like mighty men. Thou shalt climb the wall like men of war and they shall march every one on his ways and they shall not break their ranks neither shall one thrust another they shall walk every one in his path and when they fall upon the sword they shall not be wounded they shall run to and fro in the city and they shall run upon the wall and they shall climb upon the houses they shall enter in at the windows like a thief the earth shall quake before them the heavens shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining okay and this is this is when the Lord returns, okay? Now, this son of perdition thing is before this, okay? So, it doesn't matter who we think it is. It, it will not be apparent when it is too many, okay? But we as Christians are waiting for the tribulation to unfold so that all is clear before us. And we're not worried about who might be or who someone thinks is Antichrist, okay? Because... Look, Mark thirteen twenty one, and if many man shall say to you, Lo, here's the Christ, or lo, there he is, believe him not, for false Christs, plural, and false prophets, plural, shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. These are pl these are plural Christs and prophets coming with with signs and wonders. These are miraculous deeds. These are miraculous acts that people are being, but that, but that's got to be God. And we're saying, that's not him. Are you still in this body? Are you still, have, have, have the tribulation gone down? Okay. Has this great army destroyed the world? Had everybody living in fear and the sun and the moon is darkened? No. So this is not Jesus. 
Okay? But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. So you see? After the tribulation. And what ends the tribulation is these locust army, this army destroying. Okay? That's the last thing. And go look at your signs and your trumpets. Okay? A lot has to happen before the seventh sign and seventh trumpet. Okay? Take ye heed, Mark 13, 23. Behold, I have foretold you all things, but in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of the heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Okay? The elect are on the earth, and the elect are in heaven. The elect are those who are on the planet who are alive and remain, and will be caught up. And the elect that are in heaven are the first resurrection. Okay? Second Thessalonians 2.2 2. Okay, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there become a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Okay, what is this falling away? 1 Timothy 4.1 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay? Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Okay? Which church is forbidding people to marry? Okay, the, the the clergy, the men of God. Okay, which church is still stuck? Okay, in the these are two churches. Which church is still stuck in the you can't eat pork? Now I don't eat pork for health reasons. Okay, but for the most part, it's not what goes in a man's mouth; it what comes out of it. All right, and those laws and commands are there for you to observe. Okay, and if you knew anything about the pig's biology, its physiology, it has no sweat glands, it retains all toxic matter. So when you eat a pig that, that you know, thousand years ago was rolling in its dung all day, you can get sick. And if you eat a pig that's been fed steroids and all these other toxic fertilizers and stuff that they're feeding in the feed and things like that, those things are inside you, okay? So think about that when next time you want to have a pepperoni pizza, okay? And I've had one, and they're good. And it's not good for you, okay? Look at Second Timothy 4.1. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick, the ones who are alive, and the dead, at his appearing and his kingdom. Okay, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine the word of God. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap on themselves, heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Just tell me what I want to hear. I want to leave church happy like I've done something for that one hour out of, you know, how many hours in a day, in a week, you know? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, and each one of us has a ministry. You might not consider it, but if you are a Christian, you have been charged to go out there and work in your father's field. To the extent in which you do, whether he gave you ten talents, five talents, or one talent, you better do something with it. Okay? It's that simple. And if it makes you uncomfortable, well, I'm saved by grace and not by works. You need to get over it and read those verses that it says, you lazy and slothful servant, what have you done for me lately? Okay? Back to 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 
We are in the falling away. We are just waiting for the man of sin to be revealed, the son of perdition. And when he's revealed, he will oppose it and exalt it himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And your president has not done this. For you to think that our president is Antichrist is foolishness at this point. Okay, because he got up and read one paragraph in Washington, D.C. and wasn't in the temple in Jerusalem. Okay, he was quoting the Bible. He wasn't speaking and telling you, I am God. And he wasn't showing you lying wonders, okay? Daniel eleven twenty one. And his, this is Antichrist. This vile person, this disgusting person, this abomination. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. And with the arms of a flood shall they be overflown from before him and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. And after the league made with him shall he work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. Okay, and you know who these people are, this small people. They've been running the world as long as as long as it's been run by the devil. Okay, he shall enter peaceably even upon the fattest places of the province, and he shall do that which his fathers have not done, nor his father's fathers. He shall scatter among them the prey and the spoil and the riches, yea, and he shall forecast his devices against the strongholds, even for a time. So Basically, this is the one who unifies the world through the banking system and all assets, all wealth is distributed to these small people, this 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 small secret society or this group of families that truly won the world and through the through banks like the Federal Reserve and the and the European Central Bank and the Asian Central Bank. These are all private banks that are consolidating all wealth to the shareholders, which is this small group of people. Okay. Even for a time, and he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south with a great army, and the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army, but he shall not stand, for they shall forecast devices against him. And the king of the south could be this king of Egypt, this king of Islam, who's trying to make Jerusalem the capital of Islam and of Egypt. Quite possibly the king of the south, because the king of the north, okay, is going to set himself up in Jerusalem. <laughs> yea, they that feed the portion of his meat shall destroy him, and his army shall overflow, and many shall fall down slain. And both these kings' hearts shall be to do mischief, and they shall speak lies at one table, but that shall not prosper. For yet the end shall be at the appointed time. Then shall he return into his land with great riches, and his heart shall be against the holy covenant. And he shall do exploits and return to his own land. At the time appointed he shall return and come toward the south, but it shall not be as the former or as the latter, for the ships of Ketim shall come against him, therefore he shall be grieved and return and have indignation against the holy covenant. And shall he do, he shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. Okay, and these are intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. And these are the ones, the fallen angels, Okay, intelligence meaning be taught by them, be accepted by them. An arm shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily hatamid, the daily sacrifice, the daily offering, whether it be a drink offering, a, a meat offering. Okay, it's the one in the temple of God, hatamid, hamashiach, ha adam, the one, the specific one. Okay. And they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. Okay? This is the image of the beast. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That's not God. You're not God. I will go to my death. And I will do miraculous things in the name of my God. The God of Abraham. The God of Israel. The God of Moses. Okay? Our Father in heaven. Okay? And they that understand among the people shall instruct many, yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame and by captivity and by spoil. Many days, the elect, 
Okay? Now when they shall fall, they shall be helped with a little help, but many shall cleave to them with flatteries. And that's saying, when they shall fall, they will be given some relief. Okay? When Yeshua was delivered up to his death, he went up to the torture stake. He went up and was beaten and, and, and ridiculed, and he was suffering up there. But he was helped. Father, into my hands I entrust my spirit. Into your hands I entrust my spirit. And he was helped. And he was taken away before his death. And if you're laying there and they tell you to put your head on the chopping block and you love your Lord and you're willing to go to your death, when that blade is coming down, you will be helped and you will be taken out. Because it is the act of them killing you is what signifies your glory. Okay? Not your physical, not your actual death. You will be helped. Okay? And, but many shall cleave to them with batteries. And many will join them by pretend, pretending to be sympathetic to their cause. Okay, jumping on the bandwagon, okay, because they're not sure, okay, is it is the devil God, or is the God of these martyrs God, I'm not sure, but I'm going to join the martyrs, but I'm not sure, I'm going to pretend to be sympathetic to their cause, Daniel 11.35, and some of them of understanding shall fall, to try them and to purge and to make them white, even to the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed to be made white, to wash your robes in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god. Zeus, Buddha, okay, Quetzalcoatl, above every god. Okay, and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods, and shall Vishnu, I'm greater than Vishnu, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all, the God of his fathers. Interesting. Okay. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. And, and this is not maybe armed forces. This might be the God of creation. This unity consciousness collective God that is a creator God. That you are a creator God. You are part of a creator God. And you can go and, and, and become enlightened and achieve ascension and go and create your own universe as God. With God. That's a bunch of junk. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. And he shall enter also into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall escape out of his hand. Edom, Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and over all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps but tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to take a, make away many and he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seeds in the glorious holy mountain yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him that is the son of perdition okay and until you see that person doing that, you have no right saying anybody is Antichrist. Okay? Because it could be a false alarm. Okay? And if you're not in sound doctrine and you're not in the Word of God, and you're just talking off the top of your head because Sister Such and Such and Brother Susie Sue said it, you know, you got to be careful. That's why you're asking for money. That's why you're begging for money. Because you're not being blessed for teaching the truth, God's truth. Okay? promised you everything you need okay look at second Th second thessalonians 2 5 remember ye not that when i was with you i told you these things okay and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time now you know all the things that are supposed to happen from the old testament and from the gospels okay 
that he might be revealed in his time. When all these things are done, then he could be revealed. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Who is that? What is that? I'm not sure, but I do know that angels can keep other entities, other spiritual powers in, at bay. So it's probably an angel. Could be the angel that is over the abyss, okay? Abaddon, okay, who has got Satan down on lockdown, so he can't come up to the top of the earth and do his thing. <laughs> Daniel 10, 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for those words. And I tried to come to you, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. So here you have an angel who is trying to get to Daniel, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia, the angel which is over Persia, the Mahdi, the demonic entity, the, the satanic angel that is talking to the president of Iran in his meditative state, would not let this angel come to, to him until Michael intervened. Okay, So, until the angel gets out of the way, who's guarding Satan, he can't come down. Okay, And when he does... 2 Thessalonians 2 8, then shall the wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Power, signs, and lying wonders, okay? 2 Thessalonians 2 9. Power. The dunamis, where we get dynamite, a force, a powerful force, a miraculous power, a miracle in itself, okay? And signs, okay? An indication, supernatural indication, okay? And lying wonders of false prodigies or omens. See, you know what that is? An omen is a sign. And false signs, or the Antichrist will come and perform signs and miracles that are supposed to happen before Yeshua comes. Okay? Like maybe he can make the sun turn dark. And maybe he can make the moon turn to blood. Okay? Before he marches down and destroys the kings. Okay? And says that that was the great war, and that was the tribulation, and now he's here to save you. Okay? He's going to set up himself as God. And everybody's going to believe him because they thought that one man was the Antichrist and he was taken out by this 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 um angel of Satan okay Satan himself so you got to be careful because false Christ and false prophets plural will do these powers and signs and lying wonders and false indications and false prophecies that are mimicking and trying to trying to um copy the prophecies of the return of Yeshua Okay, Second Thessalonians 2.10 With all deceivable of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. The love of the truth. And what is the truth? The word of God. Not what you think. Not what Sister Butts and Such says. Not what Brother Huey Who says. It's what the word of God says. You can make videos all day long saying someone is Antichrist, but unless they satisfy this criteria, the lying wonders and the miraculous powers and the false signs, it ain't him. You've got to be patient. The patience of the saints. Not the, not the frustration and impatience of, of, of people who are not putting the word of God first as the foundation for their belief and the, found, the foundation for the, the way they want to educate children of God. Okay? So they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. A false energy. This 211, strong delusion, is energia. Okay? And fraudulence. So this is a fraudulent energy. 
okay this this whole idea about lying wonders and this this false energy this this unity consciousness this um, out of body experiences flying in your macabre spaceship in a meditative state this is the false energy okay and it has people believing a lie okay and look Revelation 13, 1, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth was at the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Okay, you have, this is a false prodigy, a false omen of a death and a resurrection. Okay, and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast saying, he was like unto the beast and who was able to make war with him because he could march. Okay, and we've seen that in Daniel. Okay, and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to the continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And he's not saying you're God, no God, he's saying I am God. Okay, and he doesn't recognize the God of his ancestors and the God of Moses. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. They're not raptured. They are at war. And they have been overcome. Because he is to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. He rules the world as God. And all them that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Okay. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in contempt, into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I think that's better read like, you know, who who is supposed to go into, who who is led into captivity will go into captivity. Who is led to their death will be killed. Okay? If it's your duty to go die and you're going to stand your ground, you're going to go die. Okay, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused it the earth which and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Okay, and he doeth great wonders, so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Okay, and to deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Okay, a mortal wound, and he comes back to life, and then he's gone. And now this guy comes, he's telling you to worship that guy. Okay, multiple Christ. Multiple antichrists, multiple prophets, okay? And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and on their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and his number... Six hundred, three score and six. All right, now look, Revelation thirteen eight. Okay. Revelation thirteen eight. Okay. Eighteen, thirteen, eighteen. Okay, thirteen, eighteen. Okay, I'm just going to count the number. Okay, arithmos of the beast, for it is the number, arithmos of a man, and his number, arithmos, is 603 score and 6. But, if you look at the Greek, and I'm just saying, alright, if you look at the Greek, you have arithmon, arithmus, arith arithpon arithmo arithpon okay and arithus 
okay? Different versions of this word of counting of numerology or whatever it is. So the word arithmos, arithmos, which is the, the only one of those numbers, they're all different spelling. But this one, if you take it into your Greek and you find them, Howbeit many of them which heard the word believe, and the number of the men was about 50,000. So you have a quantity of 50,000. Acts 5.36, okay? Whom the number of men, about 400, okay? Acts 6.7, um, the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem, the quantity, okay? Acts 11.21, a great number believed, a great quantity, the number of the children of Israel, Romans 9, 27, okay? Um, the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, Revelation 5, 11. The number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000,000, okay? Here is wisdom, the number of a man and his number, his quantity is 666, okay? That's just a different twist, and I've never heard that before, and I'm just trying to say it isn't going to be a 666, um, you know, it could be a number of, that, 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 here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, okay, the numerology of this beast, for it is the, 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 the numerology of men, and that number is 660 and 6. So there may be 666 representatives of the beast. I don't know. Just trying to make sense of what that Greek word is used. It's used as a quantity and it's only used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe ten times. And that word is always referring to a quantity of individuals. Okay, so it's just a little different slant because we're all confused about 666. We might as well look in other areas and have at least this in the back of our mind. Okay, that there could be 666 governors or whatever that represent the beast and that you worship this whole council. I don't know. Just, just, just file that. Okay, file that. Second Thessalonians 2.10 And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them that false energy, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but who had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, and this unrighteousness isn't like they're against Christianity, it's that within Christianity, they're fake for themselves. Second Timothy 3 1 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy without natural affection truce breakers false accusers incontinent fierce despisers of the, those that are good traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god having a form of godliness looking like they're godly, but denying the power of God, from such turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, of the word of God. Okay? The knowledge that's contained in the word of God, because these people are using it to just get their power and to get their 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 desires fulfilled and not teaching it to convict and to change people to create apostles disciples of the lord okay second thessalonians 2 13 but we are bound to give thanks always to god for you brethren beloved of the lord because god hath from the beginning god had from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and the belief of the truth and second uh, thessalonians 2 13 is that rk beginning from reshith 2 13 Two thirteen from the beginning. RK from Rashid from the first world age from the dinosaur age. Okay. 
God that from the dinosaur age chose you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and the belief of the truth and belief of the truth where unto he called you by our gospel by hearing the word of God you remember you were like I'm with God I was with God then and I'm with God now to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach 2.15 Therefore brethren stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught whether by word or our epistle simple hold to the traditions which you have been taught through the Bible or people telling you what's in the Bible okay 2.16 now our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach himself and God even our Father which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work don't be a lazy slothful servant okay what come do not it's not what goes in a man's mouth that defiles him. It's what comes out of our mouths as men and women which defile us. Okay? Look. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through my truth, and thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. As for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Through what they write down. Okay? That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, and they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them. For thou hast loved me. Father, I wish also that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world he loved him before the destruction of the world the destruction of the dinosaurs he loved him from the very beginning okay when Yeshua created the heavens and the earth okay Ephesians 1 3 Blessed be the God of, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as He hath chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, before the destruction of the dinosaur age, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will, predestined us to the adoption of children that when your lights turned on and when you decide I'm gonna follow Jesus and I'm gonna live in the narrow way and I'm gonna do the right thing you were supposed to be there it was just how were you gonna get there what choices were you gonna make to get there because it was for you to have and now you've embraced it and take it not that you didn't have a choice you have a choice and you chose God and he knew you would. Okay? Because you were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. Okay? Having predestined us to the adoption of children by Yeshua HaMashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath proposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him okay at the dispensation of the fullness of times when this world is over we are gathered together in, in one thing all in one things in Christ okay so don't worry about who Antichrist is you want to hear about dreams I had a dream about Barack Obama okay and it was a weird dream okay there was a big like dinner you know, and people were there, dignitaries were there, and Barack Obama was at the head table. 
and he went outside on the balcony and I followed him out on the balcony and we started talking and he said oh yeah well if you want to help out here's my card and I gave him my card if you got any appliances or something you know what I, mean? I give him my card and then once I left, I had realized that now he knows where I'm at, and I had a fear that he knew where I was at. Okay? What does it mean? I don't know. I don't really care. It will make sense to me someday, maybe, and it may not make sense to me someday, maybe. Okay? I'm not praying on what it meant, because it meant what it meant, and it will be either revealed to be prophetic or revealed to be nothing. Okay? Because I had some other dreams. Okay, some crazy stupid dreams that have nothing to do with the Bible. And I know that they're not prophetic, okay? So we just have to be careful, okay? And we have to trust the Word of God. Because no matter what I dream, if it's not in the Word of God, if the person does not satisfy the criteria as written in the Word of God, that person cannot be Antichrist, no matter how much I want to believe it, okay? So be patient, and be prepared, and have courage, and have wisdom and use discernment when studying the Word of God and show yourself approved okay so that you can be ready when it is evident and you can be the elect and you can do exploits and you can lead many to the Lord so be patient okay I love you guys and I pray for all of you for that wisdom and that strength and that courage and I pray in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKodesh Amen be patient Peace.